Hello guys! As we all know, two lines on a plane can be perpendicular, which means the angle between them is right. Suppose we need to find the slope of the line perpendicular to the given. How can we do it? Well, suppose we have a line on a plane. The general equation of a line in a slope-intercept form is y equals kx plus b, where k is the slope of the line. Actually, k equals the tangent of phi. And phi is the angle between the positive direction of x-axis and our line. Suppose we have another line perpendicular to that one. The angle between that line and the positive direction of x-axis over here equals phi plus pi over 2. So the slope of the line perpendicular to the given equals tangent of phi plus pi over 2. Using trigonometrics, this gives us negative cotangent of phi, which is also equal to negative 1 over the tangent of phi. And as we know, the slope of the initial line equals the tangent of phi. So this gives us negative 1 over k. For example, let's consider equation y equals 3x minus 2. We need to take two points to build the line represented by this equation. Let's take x equals 0, then y equals negative 2, and x equals 1, then y also equals 1. The first point, 0, negative 2, is over here. And the second one, comma 1, is over here. And here goes our line. y equals 3x minus 2. The slope of the perpendicular line using this formula equals negative 1 third. So the equation of the line perpendicular to that is y equals negative one-third times x plus b. There is infinite number of lines perpendicular to the given, so we need to have at least one point so we can exactly form the equation for the line. Suppose we're also given the point 0, 1, which belongs to the line perpendicular to that one. <clears throat> now we need to find the y-intercept, or b-parameter. For that, let's insert the coordinates of that point into the equation. y is 1 equals negative 1 third times x, which is 0, plus b. And here we obtain b equals 1. So the equation of the perpendicular line is y equals negative 1 third times x plus 1. Let's also build this line. We already have a point 0, 1 over here. And we need to have another point. Let's pick x equals 3, then y equals 0. This point is over here. And here's our line. y equals negative one-third times x plus one. As we can see, the lines are really perpendicular. So I suggest you remember that formula. It may be useful for you. Thanks for watching.